<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and welcome back to another Skip Barber video. We are back here at Circuit of the Americas. We are back behind the wheel of the Formula 4 car, this time with the two-day advanced program, which qualifies you for your full competition SCCA license, and you learn more techniques, learn more passing opportunities, get more track time. It's a blast. So, looking forward to getting behind the wheel today. Come along with me. For the two-day advanced program, the first half of the day is spent getting drivers up to speed. In the classroom, we recapped lessons learned in the three-day program. Some students have recently completed the three-day program, while others have been out of the car for years, so it was good to get everyone on the same page again. After the morning classroom session, we were reintroduced to the Formula 4 car and fitted into the cockpit and into gear. Suits, gloves, shoes, and Hans devices are all available to students. Before climbing into the F4 cars, we climbed into street cars for the autocross and skid pad exercises. The autocross course was the same layout that I drove back in December, but it helped me get back into race mode and get some practice. For those that don't know, autocross is its own form of motorsports where drivers maneuver through a course set up with cones and race against the clock. In this setting, Skip Barber is using it to get the drivers warmed up and make sure we are doing things such as looking into the corner, smooth throttle inputs and brake inputs, and following the correct racing line. The skid pad section is changed for the advanced students. Instead of a circle to learn oversteer and understeer, it was changed into a paperclip shape. In the advanced skid pad exercise, the drift ring was located on the right rear tire which made it easier to lock up at lower speeds in the braking section and lose grip through the turns. It taught us how to trail brake, how to rotate a car through a corner, and how to properly deliver power on the exit of a corner. You ready to roll? Yeah. After a nice catered lunch in the Coda Suites, we were strapped into the formula cars, starting with one high speed lead follow session. Unlike the three-day school, there were no RPM limits, and we were able to drive at the full potential of the car. For the advanced program, we were pointed past the stop box most of the time to get the most amount of laps in the session and given notes after. In between run groups, we would spend time watching footage from students' onboard cameras. The instructors provided feedback on what to improve on for the next sessions. That concludes day one here at the two-day advanced school Coda F4 cars. Super awesome, lots of track time. Felt like we were hitting our marks, staying really consistent, super ready for tomorrow. Uh, we'll actually get open lapping like you guys saw on like the last day of the three-day school. We'll be able to get a good rhythm, get a good pace, put down some fast laps, and the instructors will actually join us out on track this time, which is something that we didn't get in the three-day school. So super excited to come back out tomorrow for the second day, make sure you tune in for that but for now that's going to do it for this video guys thanks for watching check out skip barber skipbarber.com 
They've got schools across the country, different cars, the F4, Mustang, Civics. It's, you, you're missing out. You gotta do it. So skipbarber.com, check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.